Turning now to our forecast on this Saturday morning as we take this live look out over Ann Arbor. Take a look at the big house there and good news. You do not see any raindrops because the rain has subsided, but you're going to want to hold on to that warmer fall coat if you have it. If you're stepping out to walk the dog this morning, right? Allie, that's absolutely right. Tailgating uh, today too. So we're getting rid of the rain and I talked about it. it's going to be cool. It's going to be breezy, mm. but you know what? Football weather tends to be so we know how to dress for that as long as we can stay yeah. dry. It's certainly tolerable and temperatures today will be cooler than yesterday. We actually hit 62 yesterday, so temperatures were pretty decent, very close to average. 50s today, low to mid 50s, in fact, due to a cold front. Showers ending pretty quickly this morning, cool and breezy for the afternoon, and then colder air in place a few days next week. We're talking about 40s for highs here shortly. Looking at the rain coming down and seeing that around uh, Riley moving toward Armada, so into Macomb County, a little heavier rain holding together near Rochester, and then we move south and rain beginning to push toward Sterling Heights, Madison Heights. This again, for the most part, except for that little area near Rochester is light. Notice the temperature change. So with the front coming through, our temperatures are dropping behind it. We're looking at low 40s, 41 in fact, and how 42 in Ann Arbor. We jump ahead of the front and temperatures are in the mid 40s from Detroit up toward uh, Port Huron, where we're seeing 46 to about 47 degrees. Wind direction right now, west to southwest, uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then we're going to notice some higher gusts. Already seen a couple of those. Uh, just looked at Windsor, a gust about 30 miles per hour. So 25 will be fairly common, but could see a 30 mile per hour gust as we go through the day today. Here's the area of low pressure moving through right now. We do have an upper level low attached to it uh, moving through the upper peninsula. So some reinforced cloud cover, I think, at times as we go through the day today. Now the trend for temperatures, we see this chilly air in place today. This is going to try to retreat just a little bit tomorrow, and then it doesn't last long by the time we get into Monday. So that quick, we're noticing colder air coming down from the north with that next system, and that really mixes in across the Great Lakes and stays put for several days or early next week, early and into the middle of the week. We look at our Hour by hour forecast and this little batch of rain we're watching will quickly move out by about nine o'clock or so. Drier conditions will come in behind it. Any chance for rain at this point looks to stay north as we head into the late evening and overnight hours tomorrow. We have another front coming through and it's going to be later in the day out ahead of it. I don't see any problems. I see dry weather during the afternoon. We get to the evening. There's a little bit of a question mark with the front coming through. Most forecast models are saying it's going to come through dry, but we could see a touch of a sprinkle or a brief shower. So I did add a 20% chance just looking at this one particular forecast model. But again, good news for college football. So tailgating this morning, noon kickoff in Ann Arbor, and that temperature about 50. And then we move to a 4 p.m. kickoff in East Lansing, breezy, cool temperatures in the low 50s. But at least again, we do look dry. Touching 60 tomorrow looks decent, and then we'll be in the 40s, so colder for Monday through Wednesday. Hallie, thank you.